everyone, Miranda Patron back here with you to do another quick video. I obviously have been listening to Christmas music because how can you avoid it on the radio these days? <laughs> but I have these cute little uh, bells that are wood cutouts that I found. And I think we'll do a nice little mandala fitted into this shape today. So this first bell is painted with deep sapphire and the extreme sheen line. And it's really, really just glittery. I think it's a nice background for the metallic um, silver bell we're gonna create. So it's obviously some inspiration from Christmas and I hope it inspires you as well. All right, so first I'm gonna take my nice little liquid chrome here and we're going to just go over the ball end of the bell. And I'm just going to have to do it gentle here because my Extreme Sheen paint is not 100% dry. Look at that shininess. Ooh, love the metallics. Now I'm going to grab some of this nice shoreline blue from the Americana line. And I'm just going to use that to outline the bottom edge of our bill. It really looks nice against this blue sapphire. Alright, now I have the metallic um, multi-surface silver. And somebody sent me these acrylic rods a while back and so I'm going to do my center with that. And I'm just going to put a dot right here and I'm just eyeballing it, but you can measure on yours where you want it to start your design. Now some of you have asked on these tools, <laughs> when you dot with them, you get kind of that goopy lip in the middle, goopy, I don't even know what you call it. Not something I can say in a kid's show, but you can just kind of take it like this and smooth it out if you don't want the bump. So just take another dotting tool or a brush or something like that and just kind of even it out. Let's take some more of that silver and we'll go above, blue. And then side to side, and we'll just do sort of a quad mandala design here. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm using a bit of titanium white, which with the gourd is also called snow white. And I'm starting at the bottom of the circle and heading to the top. And I'm just going to put one more dot up there like that. At the bottom. And you can see with the brushes, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to constantly be reloading. But you just use what you're comfortable with. Now I'm going to switch back to the silver. And do the same thing and go up around that white dot at the top. All right, now, after I did the screwdriver hack for the oval petal shape dots, I started dipping everything, of course. So I found another fun little hack that's very inexpensive to purchase these. And they make fun little dots shaped like petals as well. So if you are not someone who has screwdrivers lying around, which I think most everyone here might be, you can also use these erasers. I raided my children's school, school stuff, school supplies. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the titanium white here. And we're gonna go in between the silver designs that we've made. And look at that, a nice, Nice little oval. And this white too is also a nice contrast to help kind of 
brighten up the design there. But you can see it makes lovely, lovely little ovals. They're about a half an inch, just under half an inch long. So it is another tool in your arsenal for dot painting. Another thing I've shown in the past, but maybe you guys haven't seen that video, is see on my mechanical pencil here, I can just push the lead out. And if you don't have any toothpicks or anything like that on hand, well, here's another dot maker for you. So I'm going to continue our design up here. And look at those fun tiny little dots you get. Nice and dainty. So if you're new to dotting and you don't want to go out and buy a bunch of tools, and you have mechanical pencils and erasers on hand or you can just go to the dollar store too because they have them there just grab some paint and you'll be dotting So I'm going to grab my finest one of these liquid chromes, the smallest, and I'm going to take this design up just a little bit higher here with some mandala petals. You can see the nice shine on that silver. The brightness on my screen might actually be a little... There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, let's go back to our pencil. <laughs> and that shoreline blue. And we'll just make an arc here on the top of every one of the white ovals to just about where your bend in your petal is. So now since we're just going multi-product here on this one, <laughs> I'm adding in some of the Pintar fine tip pens. And all of these ones that I'm using you can varnish over. However, I just want to caution you with the liquid chrome, it does diminish the shine just a little bit. Not to the point where it's, it's dulled too much, it's just diminished a little bit. So I will warn you all for that. So the the pinter ones here you can varnish over as well. So 
I'm just gonna follow our metallic one but I needed something to kind of contrast with the metallic that wasn't a whole nother color so these ones from Pintar are great the white is nice and bright you can varnish over it I've used them in the past to sign my art and also show you guys a few other dotting you can dot with them a little bit as well but I didn't have any smudging or smearing and I use a brush on varnish not a spray So I have not tried these on top of the Extreme Sheen, and I think maybe because my Extreme Sheen is just a bit damp, it's tacky, I guess, just a little bit. So the pen is catching a little bit, but I have not had a problem with them splattering or catching in the past on other paints, on the flat paints. So there's a nice white outline that you get with that one. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to put some swipes in here. <laughs> you all know me, right? I think I'll go back to that silver. And I'll do this one with a dotting tool here for you guys so you can see. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna throw it in some pearl from the Extreme Sheens instead for our first large swipe here. And we're gonna go right above where we did these little blue archways. And I'm gonna start out towards the edge of my bell and then bring it down in like that. out towards the edge of my bell bring it down in and I'm doing these a little I want these a little bit thicker than usual sometimes I leave it where it has a thin tail but this one I want the tail to be a little bit thicker so I'm just trying to eyeball lining it up with the one that I have across from it over here just to give the line up that diagonal so just you could draw yourself even some guidelines maybe, but I'm not sure what works with drawing on the extreme sheens. How easy it'll be to erase. All right, now we'll go to the silver again. And on either side of that white one that we put down, I'm going to use the silver to do the same kind of shape, just a little bit shorter. Oops, didn't have enough on my tool there. And well, that was fun. Sorry about that. I have a new one of those smart watches that answers your phone, and I still really have no clue how to use it. And it interrupted our painting time here. That'll settle in. Technology is supposed to make our lives a little simpler, right? Sometimes I'm not feeling that way.
And you'll start to gauge as you practice how much paint you need on your tool. Like on that one, I had a little bit too much. And I didn't want to big, do a big blob. Big ado blob. Wow, I can talk today. Do a big blob and then drag it out and have it be a problem. So you can also use your small end of the tool to just kind of help reshape. All right, those are our silvers. And I think we should use the blue again, just for a little more continuity here. So again, that's the shoreline, the light blue. And I'm going to use the smallest dotting tool. And on either side of our silver, I'm just gonna do a smaller one. So down, maybe we'll make it kind of curve around to just kind of add to the elegance of this lovely little bell here. So you can see I'm just dragging straight down first and then just kind of arcing it out just a little bit. And then it kind of looks like it's cupping our other swipes. Does that make sense? This guy got a little carried away here. Alright, so you can see I stuck my hand in my bell here. Not smart. Maybe you can't see it. I didn't wasn't thinking about where I was placing my hand with this, so I'm able to go back over that so we don't lose the sheen from our liquid chrome, but obviously that's a good warning to you, <laughs> to you from my bloopers to make a mistake here. Speaking of bloopers, um, my daughter the other day, I have been saving my bloopers because she thinks it's hilarious to watch when I mess up speaking or <laughs> just kind of trip over my tongue or laugh at myself and I think that kind of lighthearted enjoyment in doing art is definitely needed and I've tried to really kind of promote that with my kids. So she is obsessed too with watching the vines and blooper reels and all that stuff so I with her encouragement, decided to do a blooper reel that I'll be putting out soon for you guys. And just go easy on me, because I am only human. I love you guys. I know you'll be kind. And, you know, like Thumper says in Bambi, you know, if, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all, that type of mentality. So I'll put that out there, and hopefully you will all get a good laugh out of me being human. So that's my gift to you all for Christmas. One of my gifts is hopefully the gift of laughter, which I like to encourage in my house. All right, so how is she looking? I think we're doing pretty well with this little bell. I, I honestly skipped this part for now because I'm just kind of debating what exactly I want to do in there, but we will get to there momentarily. All right, since I introduced my little oval maker, I'm going to continue on with that for a bit. I think for this, I'll outline up above here with the titanium white. 
So again, we're not using a ton of colors, but you can see it makes a really nice design. Very elegant for the holidays. For a little ornament, I can tie a string through the top of these bells. All right, I'm going with my ovals. And I think, to be honest, I wouldn't put these on a mechanical pencil because the top spins. So just another suggestion. Um, I would just put them on a pen or a normal pencil. And to be honest, I did not practice too much with doing this eraser. I just kind of tested it out and saw that it made ovals and got excited and just wanted to go for it. So it is not one of the things where you have to practice over and over. You just make sure your paints are the right consistency so they're thinner, like the deco arts and the water-based acrylics. So if you have heavy-bodied acrylics, you're going to need to thin them with a flow medium. Flow trawl, any of those, flood. Um, I, I like to use deco art pouring medium if I use heavy-bodied paints. So they have a good one. And hey, look at that. Thank God it came out to the right amount of dots to go across that belt. <laughs> Nothing like going at it live, impromptu here, and just letting it all out. So it worked. I'm thankful. Cool. All right. So I think I can't decide still. So I'm just th thinking as I go here. I'm debating just filling it in with rows so that it doesn't draw away from the attention up here. But I'm also debating a small design in there. So it'll be a surprise. So, you know, I try to let you guys always in on the thought process just because I think it helps to kind of see where people came from and how they got there and, you know, how much deliberation actually goes into some of these. So I honestly don't want to make a large dot in the center here because I don't want it to kind of trip up the design to look like, um, uh, you know, another clapper. So did you know that that is what the ball part of the bell is called. It's called the clapper, the part that makes the bell ring. Learn something new today in addition to your design, huh? Yeah, so I'm debating. I don't want to put a dot there because I don't want it to be mistaken for another clapper. I just want to put some sort of design in there to fill the space a little bit more rather than keeping it open because I think it'll help complete our design. Alright, so I think in the spirit of our swipes up here, Let's just try something here. All right. I'm going to center it a little bit here. Bring one to the center. Bring it to the center. And that's with the um, pearl. This is white. I'm just making them all connect in the middle. Like that. Okay, I'm going back to my liquid chrome. Uh, let's see. Just do a little kind of decorative work here. Sure, that works. I gotta remember what I did. <laughs> All right. So I wanna go the opposite direction here. I'm 
and bring it out into like the third dot or so. I know that way it kind of helps have some landmarks. So almost up, and give it a big curl around and just tuck it up. Perfect, yes, I'm super happy with doing that. I'm so glad I waited to decide. So, but you know, as always, you guys modify it how you want. But I really hope that you liked my little bell today. And even to kind of um, consolidate it a little more now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's never done, right? No, now that I'm looking at it on the screen while I'm talking to you guys, I just want to add... Maybe I'll grab the bigger one. We'll just do some silver. Because I really wanted this to be my kind of silver bells theme without too many other colors. But this too, that way you can see, you can kind of dot. You can just buy the liquid chrome in a bottle and use it with brushes. But you can also kind of dot with these pens that they have. And it's this one's a set of three that I purchased. Oh, that's so much better. Yep, so glad I did that. Um, it's a set of three. And they are made by Molotow. And they are on Amazon. I'll put the links in my descriptions, as always, to everything from my video. So I know a lot of you asked me about the Lazy Susan turntable. I'll pop that in there as well. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments. I hope you enjoyed my little hack from the erasers. I've just been dipping everything in my house to see what it'll make, which is kind of fun. And uh, gives you some different shapes to play with. And also just being able to do some of the dainty work, you know, if you're not adept with the brush or you don't feel comfortable using the dotting tools for the smaller work, I would recommend these, these paint pens. They are super helpful for some of the elegant work that you can tuck in there and you can varnish over them so you can use them on your stones and stuff like that. So, all right, I hope you all are doing awesome. I miss y'all. I wish I could be on here more. Life is hectic. We're in the middle of trying to pack our house to sell it. Yeah, in the winter. Crazy, I know. But it's okay. We'll, we'll make it happen. And if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, right? So, all right. Keep me posted on how y'all are doing. You find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I'm everywhere now. I'm crazy. <laughs> However, because I'm everywhere, I also just started my own website to make all the tabs at the top take you to where I am. So, Miranda Patron Art, just keeping it simple, it's just Miranda Patron Art.com. And from there, you can find everything else. All right, you guys, take care. I hope you have an awesome night, and I will see you all again soon. Happy painting! <laughs>